where do we get this idea from about Jesus and the Christ we go to the our book of authority the Muslim he goes to the Holy Quran the Jesus is mentioned in this volume 500 percent more times than Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. something unimaginable you can't imagine a man goes and writes a book and he, he, he keeps himself out of it. He's promoting Jesus, Jesus 500% more time than himself. Does it make sense? Which writer, which biographer, authority, writer will do a thing like that? No, no. This is not his work. If it is his work, then naturally he would have promoted himself. It's mentioned in the Quran five times total. Four times as Muhammad and one time as Ahmad, which is an, an alternative way of naming of the Prophet. Altogether, five. Jesus, 25. Amazing, this book. When I tell you this, another mighty messenger of God, Hazrat Musa, salam, we call him Moses, the Holy Prophet Moses. I can't imagine anybody guessing. How many times is he mentioned in this book? The prophet of the Jews. No, no, he's our prophet. But the so-called, they say he's the prophet of the Jews. All right, the prophet of the Jews. How many times is Moses mentioned in this book? 136 times. 136 times the holy prophet Moses is mentioned in this book. And you people are thinking that we are the antichrist, we are the anti-Jews. This book is not anti-Jews nor anti-Christian. You are misjudged, doing injustice to this book. Obtain a book. Muslims and non-Muslims, you need this. You need this. To the Christians I say, even if you want to fight the Muslims, you need this book. Because this book will tell you now how the Muslims are thinking, so you can plan your strategies. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa is qalatil malaikatu ya maryamu so behold, the angel said, O oh Mary, inna Allah has tafaki, Allah has chosen thee, wa taharaki, and purified thee, wa tafaki, Allah nisail alameen, chosen thee above the women of all nations. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is described in the Quran as a woman chosen above the women of all nations. And I'm saying that this honor, this high honor, is not to be found given to Mary, the mother of Jesus, even in the Christian Bible, whether the Protestant version or the Roman Catholic version, I have them both. It continues. Ya Mari Muknuti li Rabbiki wasjudi warka i marraqin. So, O Mary, worship thy Lord devoutly, prostrate thyself and bow down in prayer with those who bow down. This is part of the tidings of the things unseen which we reveal unto thee, O messenger by inspiration. We Muslims are made to believe that Jesus is one of the mightiest messengers of God. That he is the Messiah, the Messiah, translated Christ. And in verse 45, we started with 42, 45, it says again, Behold, the angel said, O Mary, in Allah, yubashiruki bi kalimatim minhu. That Allah gives you glad tidings of a word from Him. Ismuhul Masih, His name will be the Messiah, Christ. Masih in Arabic, Messiah in Hebrew, translated into Greek, Christos. And Christos is too much a word to say, so they cut off the os and left with Christ. Christ means the anointed one. Messiah means the anointed one. Masih means the anointed one. They all are trying to say the same thing. Ismuhul Masih, who is of Mariama, Jesus the son of Mary, wajihan fi dunya wal akhira, held in honor in this world and in the hereafter. Wa min al mukarrabin, and of the company of those nearest to God. And he will speak to the people in childhood and in maturity and he shall be of the company of the righteous this is Jesus he will speak in childhood and in maturity and he will be in the company of the righteous this is again confirmed in the Quran 
The statement is made in chapter 3. In chapter 19, it's being confirmed. That he spoke to the people as an infant in his mother's arms. The very first miracle of Jesus in the Holy Bible. You find that in, in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 2. That Jesus and his disciples and his mother were invited at the marriage feast at Cana. Cana is the name of the place. Marriage feast at Cana. The very first miracle of Jesus, according to the Holy Bible. He is invited at the marriage feast at Cana. And the people run short of wine. So his mother comes to him. To him as a son. Look, these people have run short of wine. Me now, I know, in the back of her mind, I know you've got mysterious powers, you know. You can help them solve the problem. This is the plea made by his mother. And Jesus responds, Woman, what have I to do with thee? My time is not yet. But when he was persuaded by his mother, he turned water into wine. That's what they are told. John chapter 2, at the marriage feast has Cana. He turned water into wine. The first miracle of Jesus in the Quran now. That was the first miracle of Jesus in the Bible. In the Quran, chapter 19. Chapter 19, Surah Maryam. You know there is a chapter in the Quran called Surah Maryam. Meaning chapter Mary. Who's Mary? Who's this Mary? Mother of Muhammad? No, no. It's the mother of Jesus Christ. In honor of her name, there is a chapter enshrined in the Quran, chapter 19, as Surah Maryam. Ayah number 23. That after the birth of the child, the circumstance is being peculiar. The Quran says, she had retired to a remote place in the east. After the birth of the child, she brings the baby and she comes to her village. Carrying the infant in her arms. It says, At length, she brought the baby to her people, carrying him in her arms. They said, Ya Maryam, Lakad Jikti Shayan Fariya. Says, O oh Mary, truly an amazing thing has thou brought. They are shocked, amazed. Because Mary, according to our understanding, she was not married. There is no place for Joseph the carpenter in the Quran or in Islam. We have no place for him. This is, O oh Mary, truly an amazing thing has thou brought. Ya Ukta Haruna, O sister of Harun, brother of Moses. Ya Ukta Haruna, ma kana abu kimra asawim, wa ma kanat ummu ki baghiya. Says, your father was not a man of evil, nor your mother a woman and chaste. How is it that you have brought this illegitimate child into the world? We know you're not married. Your father was a goodly man. You come from a noble ancestry. Your mother was a virtuous woman, chaste woman. How is this that you brought this child without a husband? Insinuating that the child is illegitimate. What is she to do? Can she tell them, he says, you know, I heard voices. And you know, I became pregnant. And I delivered the baby. Were these people in the mood to listen to her, to accept her explanation? The Quran says, for Asharat Ilay, but she pointed to the babe. He spoke to him, ask him. She knew there's no ordinary child. Ask him. So they say, Qalu kaifa nukallimu man kana fil mahdi sabiya. Say, how can we talk to one who's a child in the cradle? How can we talk to him? We are asking you. And by a miracle, Jesus spoke from his mother's arm, says the Quran. Saqala inni Abdullah, most certainly I am the servant of Allah. I am the messenger of Allah. Ataniel Kitab, he has given me revelation. Wajalani Nabiya, and he has made me a prophet. The first miracle of Jesus in the Quran is that that as an infant he defended his mother. Now I say, take the choice. You prefer that miracle where he turned water into wine as the first miracle, or this miracle as an infant he defended his mother. You, your choice is yours. The Muslim is only presenting and so look, this is our, our, our concept of what Jesus is.
with regards to Jesus and Adam Allah says inna masala Isa inna Allah ka masali Adam the similitude of Jesus in the sight of God is that of Adam khalaqahu min turabin he created him from dust thumma qala lahu kun fayakun and he said be and he was In Surah Maida, chapter 5, 157, Allah says, Isa ibn Maryam Rasulullah. And they said in boast that they killed Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of God. In answer to that, Allah says, Wama kataluhu wama salabuhu. That they didn't kill him, nor did they crucify him. وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَا لَهُمْ But it was made to appear to them so. وَإِنَّ الَّذِينَ اخْتَلَفُوا فِيهِ لَفِي شَقِّمْ مِنْهُمْ And those who dispute therein are full of doubts. مَا لَهُمْ بِهِ مِنْ عِلْمَ They have no certain knowledge. إِلَّا تِبَا زَنْ They only follow conjecture, guesswork, fiction. وَمَا كَتَلُهُ يَقِينًا For a surety they killed him not. بَلْ رَفَهُ اللَّهُ إِلَيْهِ But Allah took him up to himself. Now that's what I believe. And the Bible tells us, the Holy Bible tells us, He gives us the test. How do we know a true prophet from a false prophet? The first epistle of John, there is a gospel of St. John, that's one thing, and there is an epistle of John, first epistle of John, chapter 4. Verse 1, it says, Beloved, John is addressing, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. I'm only reading the Christian Bible, the first epistle of John, chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, you people, my beloved brothers and sisters, he says, believe not every spirit. Don't believe every Tom, Dink, and Harry, what he comes and tells you. Don't accept it. Believe not every spirit. But try the spirits whether they are of God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. The false prophet is a false spirit. The true prophet is a true spirit. The word prophet and spirit are used synonymously here. Don't believe any spirit. But try them whether they are of God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. How do you know a false prophet? He's got a false spirit. How do you know a true prophet? He's got a true spirit. That's how you, if he's got the true spirit, he's a true prophet. If he's got a false spirit, he's a false prophet. How do we know the true from the false? Verse 2. He says, the prophet that confesseth that Jesus is the Christ is of God. Your Bible, your Bible. He said, the spirit means the prophet that says that Jesus is the Christ. He has come in the flesh that is come, is born on earth. He is a true prophet. The prophet that confesseth that Jesus is the Christ is of God. I said, why don't you apply this test to Muhammad? Not only Muhammad said so, but one billion and two hundred million Muslims of the world, hundred percent of us, we believe that Jesus was born miraculously, that he is the Christ. He gave life back to the dead by God's permission, and he healed those born blind and the lepers by God's permission. And now, uh, yet they consider us to be the antichrists. What we have to do, we have to educate them, inform them. Allah.